hey welcome back guys let's start with the train test split part okay so we are going to again call from the model selection sklearn model selection from sklearn dot model selection we are going to import train test split and then call out my train test split okay. uh, just before that let's uh, get our x and y okay so let's get x dot i log i'll get this from i log everything except the last one okay so i need everything from data except the last one dot values i need the values and y the same thing everything everything uh, of the last uh, last column right hmm. let's run the values get the values out of it mm, there's a typo hmm. this gives me a clear picture right now let's do train test split let's copy out the code from here these are the repetitive tasks that we have done before itself right so let's copy it out and this as this is having only uh, very less values that is 400 points so we are gonna keep it quite less let's uh, keep it to 25 percent okay let's keep 25 percent of our data set for uh, testing okay now is the part where we are going to train our model okay let's start by training okay here comes the place where we are going to create our first ever random forest classifier model okay for this we are going to call out from sklearn.assemble we are going to import random forest classifier so from sklearn dot in symbol we are going to import random forest classifier okay now the le now the next thing that we are going to do over here is create an object of this class so let's write rfc rfc stands for random forest classifier and let's create an object of this class successfully uh, we have created an object of this particular class the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to fit our model into our training data so i am going to call my object rfc dot fit and then i am to pass in my data that is my training data so i'm going to pass x train and y train right successfully i have created my first ever random forest classifier model so I have uh, split the data set into 25. Okay, this is 75 25 ratio. And then uh, I have trained out, I train out my model. The next part left is doing the prediction part and then doing the evaluation part. So let, let's start up with the prediction part. Okay, let's name this section as prediction. So from now on the video will be video some videos will be really based on because we are doing the same task okay we have been importing uh, our libraries and then we are importing our data set reading out the data set doing eda and then train splitting our model and training our model so these are quite repetitive tasks so we are going to speed up the videos a bit more okay now let's start with the prediction part so for prediction, I'm going to create and variable y pred, and then I'm going to pass my RFC model to predict whatever I have in X test. Here are the values that I have got out from X test, and now if I want to look, uh, compare it with y test, let's look into out. Okay. Here is y pred and y test. Now we need to evaluate how good of a task our model has actually done. So for that we need classification report and confusion matrix, right? So let's do evaluation. Create out some cells. 
import from sklearn dot matrix okay import classic classification report and confusion matrix okay let's call this let's let's print classification report pass in my y test and then pass in my y thread so we get 91 percent which is good we are doing a really great job and it is doing a good job for both of them okay even though we have less data points for one so it's not uh, most skills are not in the scale of 90s but more of 80s okay like f1 score is 88 and for zero is 93 it's solely because of the reason that uh, what we have is uh, we have more data points for zero and less data points for one right but we are getting the value 91 which is a really good score and really good uh, way to start out right uh, let's plot out the confusion matrix too and we are going to pass y test and then y red so yeah there are a few type 1 type 2 errors but most of the times we are doing a really great job so what all we have done in this video we have uh, split our data set okay into 20 uh, 75 25 ratio Okay, trained our first ever random forest classifier, predicted it out, and then did the evaluation part. Okay, now we have completed the random forest classifier section. In our new section, what we are going to do is we are going to look into some of the methods by which we can uh, create a much robust model. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to do uh, look into some of the ways that can help us into model creation. So let's jump into the next section.